there, people who have access to the internet and who are currently using it to watch this video. My name is Pun Food, or just Pun if you prefer. And I was thinking, um, which level is harder, Cosmic Cannon Cluster, or uh, oh, it's the uh, level names aren't listed here, or Grumblump Inferno. Um, and I personally think Grumblump Inferno is the harder level because really Cosmic Cannon Cluster just has like the one annoying section. Uh, like, or two annoying sections. But otherwise, yeah, it is pretty standard platforming. Um, versus Grumblump Inferno, where you always feel like you're at risk of accidentally sliding off and dying. Anyway, uh, take a rocket up here. This is... World Star, I think, is like the last real world of levels. This is World Mushroom now. And, uh, we'll start with, uh, the Mystery House. Mystery House Brawl! Um. So. Oh. Should I play as a different character? Mmm. Do I just play as Rosalina until the end? I'm ready. I guess I will. The other characters all got two worlds, so Rosalina at least gets this world. Then next world, it would just make sense. And then after that, mm. Anyway. Mystery House Brawl, just gotta take out the enemies, um, and Rosalina's actually really good for this anyway, so, because spin attack, you know, um, anyway, um, yeah, normally those enemies would be impossible to defeat until they land, so Rosalina's definitely the right choice for dealing with them. Um, one important thing to remember, though, is grabbing the star is part of beating the Mystery House. Okay. Come on. Oh my god, that was so close. If you didn't know that coin coffers existed, um, well, I feel sorry for you. Because that level basically required you knew it, that they existed. Why they gave me the extra hit? Um... And I'm gonna have to wait. I don't think you can spin attack and damage those guys when they're shocky like that. Magikoopas! Have we really seen Magikoopas? They appeared as a blockade in World 3. Um... And they appeared in the uh, Trick Trap Tower, I believe. Um... So, technically, they've been around, just not very prevalent. Um, anyway, last green star, and that's the mystery house done. Alright, simple level, but, um, I did want to look at something here. Uh... Really cool. There are star bits here now. Are there star bits in World Star? I don't know. Uh, stamp list. That looks very. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I guess I was right. So, night falls on really the rolling hills. All of World Mushroom is just remixes of other levels. You know. I.e. Night Falls on Really the Rolling Hills, um, which is a version of Really Rolling Hills, but now we have a time limit. Um, so, yeah. Pretty, um, it's pretty simple to, uh, get through. Just collect all the timers, basically. That's what they ask of you. Um, I don't know if there is a way to get above. Um, I can't remember if there's a way to get above, uh, a hundred seconds in these, uh, in this, you know, time level. That's the, uh, first green star. Let's go there. Um, hopefully there's a power up. There's a power up. Okay, um, so, 
Another thing about all these remix levels, the levels don't have stamps in them anymore. Um, I guess we can get to the deeper implications of that at a later time, but basic, um, we'll get to, well, no, we'll get to how we're getting those last stamps at a later time. But for now, what's important to remember is, yes, the, um, these remix levels don't have stamps, um, and as such, um, you know, it's just three green stars, which I don't mind. It certainly makes it easier to, you know, get three things as opposed to four, um, but it does mean no more cool stamps, but then again, I wasn't really looking at the stamps too much and commenting on them too much, um, even when I did get them, so, eh. Anyway, Night Falls on Really Rolling Hills. Uh, especially with how it was, um... Especially since this was one of the first levels that I believe we saw when 3D World was, you know, still, you know, being announced. Um, and the fact that this is our first level in World Mushroom, it really makes me think that they intended this for to be World 1-1, but they just moved it to World 2, because for reasons, or something, I don't know. Anyway, World Mushroom Dash 2 Spiky Mount Beanpole. This is just Mount Beanpole. I don't think this one has a 30 second time limit. I think this one is just Mount Beanpole, but, um, there is now, uh, Spinies and other spike enemies, you know, around here. Um, yeah, I think Rosalina, in the last episode I was saying that not being able to use it when you have a power-up is, um, also you might have noticed that the bell we got there was different than the normal cat bell, and you might notice that we now have it around our neck. Um, and the reason for that is that this functions similar to the statue leaf from, uh, 3D Land, and that now, you can turn into a statue. But the difference is, is this is a lucky cat bell, um, so we turn into a lucky cat, aka, um, a cat version that gives us money. Um, so, yeah. Um... Yeah, the one thing about this level is it's one of the few levels where it has a normal time limit, but, and no other, like, gimmicks to it. Um, anyway, getting in there is hard, I guess, uh, for some reason. Shouldn't have to be that hard. Um, also, this level tasks you with going up the mountain to collect the coins and then jumping down to, um, actually use them, or actually go in the warp box. Um, and I feel like this is to incentivize the new Lucky Cat Bell, um, and its ability to turn into a statue, because as you go down the mountain, you can turn into a statue for the extra, you know, extra coins, though, I guess you don't really need them too much. Um, the one thing I'll comment on with the Lucky Cat Bell is Rosalina, I feel like, was introduced late in the game, like, I guess it makes sense, but it feels awkward to just have w one singular character introduced um, as playable, you know, after you've already, you know, beaten the game and not have more, you know, but, it, you know, and I guess it works fine for Rosalina, um, you know, but I just feel like the Lucky Cat Bell doesn't suffer from the same issue, I think, because, you know, 3D Land did it where there was, you know, power-ups only available after actively, you know, beating the game. Um, you know, so for this game to do the same, you know, considering it's kind of an indirect sequel, you know, just makes sense. Um, also, if you can't dive from the top of that, um... You're about perfect distance to land almost right in the warp box. Pretty cool stuff. Um, make sure you don't get hit by the uh, spinies, because now they really make you use the cat suit to get to the top. Um, 
It's a fun level, I guess. Don't know if it's my favorite in the world. I don't know. I still think the Lucky Bell is a bit of like a late addition. You know, it's cool, but at the same time, it's kind of like... Just wish I could use it in more levels. I think the difference is that Super Mario 3D Land had eight whole worlds of extra levels. Vers sure, they were all remixes versus this game having some original levels in World Star. You know, but... At least you got more use of the statue leaf. Um, so... Uh, I need to climb up. Oh my god. I forgot you appear. Um, you, you know what I hated a lot? I don't know if I hated it, but you know, it was really awkward throughout the game when, like, a level would have, you know, a bonus level variant. With the light backs on, it doesn't seem like we can turn into a lucky statue. Anyway, um, but I think it was really awkward when throughout the game, um, it was awkward for me, um, because throughout the game, we have had, um, multiple levels that have these bonus variations of the level, um, that you know, I was remembering more than the actual level itself. Also, this level doesn't require you to use a cat suit. But, like, you know, I'd remember, like, the, um, green star placements from this version of the level, you know, and be surprised to not find them in the normal version, and I'd be like, oh, wait, that's, that's the, uh, you know, extra secret version of the level. You know. Anyway... Um, so, I guess now you're wondering, two levels that I cited as my favorite levels in the respective world, Hands on Hall, which is now back to Hands on Hall, and Shadow Play Alley, which is now Trouble in Shab Shadow Play Alley, are now in this world too, so which one is my favorite? And the answer is, we're gonna start with Shadow Play Alley. Um... And since these are all remixes, I basically have to choose the, another version of the level. But I don't need it. Still have Lucky Bell. I can tell you, this is not my favorite level. This is Shadow Play Alley, but this is like, you know, not my Shadow Play Alley. What I loved about um, Shadow Play Alley originally was that. You know, you went from, you had like 2D sections like this, and you had 3D sections. Um, so, um, you know, so just to have this, where, oops, it's been just, hey, it's, I find it a bit harder to, uh, fully, um, play this level, um, wait, okay, A, because there's a time limit, um, of 100 seconds, but B, I love the, um, some of the 3D sections and how they made use of the shadows and the perspective, this level is just the 2D aspect, which at this point is no different than, you know, 2D Mario. Well, it's a little different, but you get the, what I'm trying to say, right? It just... I like the original more. Some of these levels, I definitely think, are innovative on their original version, and some of them are just, you know, reusing the same level, but with an extra timer. Back to Hands on Hall. Now features Fire Bros here. And I have to say, this might be one of the levels where I remember the... Um this version more than the original. Um... You don't give me a good one. Uh... Yeah, now there's these guys here. And the first green star, I believe, is in this... No, this is the key point. Okay. Um... 
Anyway. It's good. I think Rosalina is actually a good character choice. I get why a... Just in terms of, like, in my opinion, being a little bit OP, I can see why she was locked behind post-game. But B, I think I can also see, um, why, um, I'm starting to remember why, uh, Rosalina is such a good, um, you know, why I like to play as Rosalina. Yeah, sure, she runs slow, and momentum isn't always the best, but in these more tight quarter situations, the spin attack is really invaluable. Um, I could have jumped over there technically, but didn't really feel like it. Anyway, now we just have to throw through with the key coin, and now we can go in the box. Um... I believe this version is shorter, despite not having a time limit like the other one does, or, I mean, a time limit like some of the other, like, levels, the extra secret levels. Dang it. Screw it. I need that green star, so. You can cheat and use the cursor to grab the green star coins, but I find it really hard to, you know... Like, especially if you're trying to actually collect the other coins, you know, yourself. Well, sometimes I find it hard to actually, you know, click on them and have it actually register. Anyway, I guess that wasn't today. Um. So. I need to get in there, I forget. Is it this one? Yep, it's that one. Okay. So this version of Hands on Hall is shorter. Um, only really because uh, they have you actually... Potentially this hints at the, you know, in the original level, you can come up to the roof early, you know, from the outside portion of the original level. Potentially that's what they hint at with this version. But, you know, I think it's cool to make use of that. I find it weird that they include the flying gold pull, though. You know. Probably because they had the asset and they needed to use it somewhere else to, you know, justify it or whatever. I don't know. Okay. I believe this is the actual ghost... Nope, this is gigantic seasick wreck. Oh! Oh! I remember this one now. And this is another level where it's like, oh yeah, I remember this more than the original. But instead of, um, like the raft level where it was just, you know, they're both so similar, um, you know, this one, the reason I remember it more than the original, um, is because in, also there's another use of Octogoombas. Um, but it's because this level, in my opinion, makes good use of the Mega Mushroom in a way that's pretty creative, using it to, you know, do to the bullies what they do to you, and all that. Um, oh, it just dropped coins, it doesn't actually drop any. Um, I shouldn't have done that. Is this still... A jump away and no it's not okay so we skip a whole portion of the level huh um I have to restart but that's fine um I already grabbed those green coins I guess so I'll just head up here um I don't even need to take these guys out just need to get up here and not accidentally miss this part well, I didn't accidentally walk past it, but I accidentally fell off it, so that's not much better. Um. Anyway. I guess, uh. I don't know. 
this level is pretty good for its use of the Mega Mushroom. Um, just using it against the bullies is kind of cool. But, I wouldn't say it's the, you know, best level. Um, oh yeah, this part with the Mega Mushroom is cool. Um, I really like using it to resist the, uh, Typhoons is what they're called, I think. Um, supposed. Um, dang it. I don't think there's even a checkpoint in the level. Um, no, there's not. Yeah, I, they also don't include as many, not every level includes a checkpoint in the, uh, bonus worlds. At least not in World Mushroom. Um, you know, luckily getting back to where I, f but that's also because these levels are a little pretty short. Um, especially the remixes where they omit some parts of the original level. Um, but definitely Back to Hands on Hall is probably my favorite um, level from this uh, world or whatever. Um, just because it's hands on haul, but again. Um, I don't know. I don't necessarily think this is the best level. I think it creatively uses the Mega Mushroom, but it is by no means, you know, the best level, you know, or my favorite or whatever. Um, but it's a still a good level. Anyway. Let's, uh... See what else we got. Well, we got more levels over there, but... For now, we have another, uh... Another one of these statues, 240. That's what we had before going into the final battle. This is Broken Blue Bully Belt. No, this this might be my favorite level in the world. Not back to Hands on Hall. Because this one, I think, does something really unique with the original level. Blue Bully Belt was the only time we saw these platforms. And now, it takes them away from the level. Um, But, it's really fun... Just sort of seeing, you know, them really use them as rising and falling platforms and you have to really time, you know, your jumps and stuff. Um, excellent use of Tanuki Suit, excellent use of just platforming. Um, the fact that most of the, uh, that a lot of this, um... But what I really love is I really love coming over to this platform and then just kind of floating in between these, you know, these platforms. Um, don't need to be over here, but it is helpful when preparing to make, uh, the next jumps. But minimizing the amount of actual platforms in the blue bully belt it's just such a, um, a fun way to shake up the original level, you know? Um, basically keeping it all the same except what platforms are rising out of the lava, you know? I think it's creative to basically present... Like, I want to say that they maybe designed Blue Bully Belt once they had the idea, hey, we're going to have a bunch of bonus extra worlds. Um... So they specifically made it with a concept where they already knew what they would do for the extra world level. Um, also, my screen star. I think that I did. I jumped behind the pipe in the original level and it was just coins or like there wasn't anything. And I'm like, where, I thought this is where the last green star was. And I'm like, wait, no, I already have the last green star. You know? Anyway, they call it Broken Blue Bully Belt, but I didn't see any blue bullies. Um, so... It could still be a blue belt, but no blue, no bullies. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we did it. We 
beat the broken blue bully belt. Um. So. What else? That is. That unlocks the path forward. And that's World Mushroom, but this is World Flower. This is, like, the only time in the game where, like, you know, there's a difference. My guess is because they had so many bonus extra levels that they couldn't fit them all onto one of these screens. Because, see, the World Flower one goes basically to the bottom. Um, it might stop one before. But there are 12 levels in World Flower. Um... Back to the circus, I guess. Um, and they go all the way out over here and down here. So here's Flower Dash 12, Flower 11, Flower 10, Flower 9, 8, 7, 6. This must be 5, unless that's secretly 7 or something. 4, 3, 2, yeah. Checks out. Just making sure my math isn't wrong. But also, um, one more thing before, um, should play any World Flower levels. Uh, yeah, you see this? It clearly shows a star, a stamp, and a goal pole. When I said you needed the top of every goal pole for completion, so you don't want to miss the top, like, I know you're probably going after green stars and stamps anyway, but when I said you need the top of the goal pole for completion, this is what you need it for. Um, so... I guess we'll have to play through all the World Flower, um, just to get all the green stars and top of gold poles and stamps before we can do that, and then we'll go do that. But that'll probably be next time! But for now, my name has been, and will be tomorrow, and the day after that, 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 and it always will be, Pun Food. Still didn't reach half an hour on the episode length because all these episodes in World Mushroom are remixes of the old levels and are kind of short. Um, maybe we could have done World Flower this episode, but like then I worried because of the difficulty of some of World Flower's levels that it would go over an hour, and I don't really want it to go over an hour. Um, it's like I don't want it to be under half an hour, but I take under half an hour compared to over an hour because at least people will probably stick around to watch the whole episode then. And also, I feel like I'm stalling for even more time on the episode, even though I already did the outro. So I think I'll probably just, you know, let you guys go.